Hi everybody, um, this is actually my walkthrough of Hydroponic Garden version 3. Um, as you can see at the distance shot, I have made it completely out of PVC pipe and 2 liter bottles. Um, this follows my original design theory of larger scale growing chambers will produce better roots and uh, based on the health of the plants that we've got in it so far, I think that's pretty substantiated. Um, starting from left to right, we have some cucumber. We have the beginnings of cilantro. We have some fairly robust parsley that's already started growing in really well. Um, we have the beginnings of oregano. A nice, big, heavy bushel of uh, thyme. My pride and joy at the moment, which is the uh, basil plant, which was grown from seed directly in the growing medium, which is uh, pea gravel. Um, this is spearmint, which has yet to actually come up yet. You can see a couple of little green leaves in there uh, farther down at the bottom. You can see sage. Um, the rock medium has turned black, which I'm, I'm not sure why that is, but nonetheless, it is what it is, and the sage seems to not care, so uh, a nice set of rosemary, uh, some pineapple mint, which I've never grown before, but uh, nonetheless, it looks like it should grow pretty well, and another bucket of oregano, and then way over here in the corner, we have some more Genovese basil. Now, the herbs that are larger, like the uh, the thyme, the basil, the sage, and the rosemary, all of those, with the exception of the basil, I picked up at uh, Meyer on the end of the season clearance sale when the growing season was over and uh, have done um, surprisingly well in the hydroponic garden. I'm, I'm really very surprised. Um, you can see from the oregano that there was a lot of um, dead leaves in there that have since repopulated, um, repropagated itself pretty well. Uh, the plant itself has really grown really well. Um, you can see a whole bunch of new growth in there. And the sage bush, you can also see, has just a ton of new leaves growing out of it. Um, the whole enclosure itself occupies roughly about six square feet. Uh, it's not terribly big, but uh, it grows uh, 14 pots. All 14 pots are growing. Um, I have it on a 12-hour light cycle with three one-hour watering periods um, with an overflow. Then this is an ebb and flow system, so we do it with a standard ebb and flow cycle. I also have a thermometer that gauges the differential in time, or excuse me, in, in temperature. And uh, the 77 degrees is the ambient temperature of the outside air near the lights. The 67.1 degree Fahrenheit is the temperature of the water reservoir. And uh, you can see that there is a substantial difference between the two. The one that I'm most curious to watch is going to be the cucumber. Uh, the cucumber itself, I think, is going to do fairly well. It's got a good start on it. It's already gotten past its first couple sets of leaves. And uh, although it will need a lot of time and a lot of space, it will, uh, I think, do fairly well down here. The uh, watering cycle seems to accommodate it very well. And certainly the cilantro, which is really, really challenging for me to grow. I've never had success with it yet. The cilantro seems to, uh, to really accommodate itself very, very nicely. So that is Hydroponic Garden version 3. And uh, many of you remember my uh, previous messages on Facebook. Um, we also have a Hawaiian Thai plant which I have grown from uh, the stump that you buy at the airport. One of the um, stems unfortunately did die during the winter um, from I think overexposure. But nonetheless I do have a runoff drain valve from the hydroponic solution running into the soil here. Uh, it's a trickle system so the, the plant stays consistently watered and for any of you that know the value of the hydroponic runoff, it is just chock full of uh, nutrients, just chock full of them. So, uh, as you can see from the Thai plant, we have a fairly good size set of new broad leaves, 
and uh, we have certainly new uh, stems coming up in the middle. So I am very pleased with this particular setup. Um, total time and materials. Time, probably about three hours to assemble it all. Materials, you're looking at about $40 in raw materials. Um, the two liter bottles are actually soda. It's the cheapest soda I could find. And uh, it was at Aldi, believe it or not. And uh, I just went ahead and just dumped the soda down the drain because I got tired of drinking it after about a week. And uh, the configuration of the watering chambers is actually completed with a couple of O-rings, uh, size 11 and size 13 O-rings. And then the 2-liter bottles are just jammed into standard 1.5-inch um, elbow joints. So uh, that completes the garden variety for right now, and uh, I will... Keep you updated. Have a great night. Bye.